Coach Josh here. Before we jump into today's episode, if we could just ask for one small favor. We never have any sponsors on this show, no nonsense. We just get into it and we just have one small request. If you enjoy the show, please let us know. Leave a five-star review on Spotify or iTunes. It would mean the world to us. It takes a few seconds and if you haven't done it, it helps us grow, get the show out to more people. And myself and Kyle read every single review. So on Spotify, you can only do a star rating, but on iTunes, you can do a review and you can also go ahead and write like a little write up for the show and me and Kyle look at every single one. It means the world to us. So if you could take two seconds to do that before we come into today's episode, we'll be your best friends forever. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to the Fit, Healthy, and Most of All Happy Podcast. I am your coach and host, Josh, here with his co host and co coach, KG, and I'm in the house. What are we covering today, Kyle? Yeah, so today we're going to be covering seven keystone habits that can translate over into your life positively and create a chain of reaction of other amazing positive actions. And what a lot of people don't realize is the power of compounding. A lot of people notice the power of investing, compounding money over time, but they don't realize that actions can be compounded so amazingly. Like let's think of dominoes, for example. When you do one thing, when you knock down that one domino and there's a chain reaction and they all fall into place, that's like habits. You can do one simple thing that's going to just give you 10 different benefits within the day, within the week, within the month. And that's what we're going to focus on. And we are going a level deeper than sleep, exercise, and nutrition, because these are things that should be a given that we always talk about. So those are going to be the things that we're going to cover today is seven other things aside from that. So this genius Naval Ravikant argues that compounding is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Not just him, other uh, geniuses have as well, people like Einstein. And what's amazing when you change the mindset of just, oh, I'm gonna compound my money by saving, but you think of it as habits, whether it's a morning walk, whether it's learning, whether it's challenging yourself, the small habits you're gonna get in this episode can greatly change your life, especially as you increase that time horizon. So what's number one, Kyle? And number one is waking up early and on time. And this is something that I have been doing for years and it just, it's something that compounds and will pay off so much throughout the day. When you think of all the decisions and all the actions that take place and just the amazing things that happen because of it, such as just having better time management, you know, even just having that extra window in the morning to do what you need to do alone could help reduce stress levels, could help you feel so much better. I used to be someone who would set my alarm, wake up, roll out of bed and then get moving. And that alone just made me feel so crappy. My workouts were bad. My nutrition was bad. So it's crazy how this one small habit can just consistently make such a big difference within your day. Your overall mood will be increased. Even just the opportunity for quiet and solitude, that first 30 minutes to 60 minutes in the day, because I wake up at a reasonable time before before everyone else and before just the mayhem of the day can help me so much and it helps me just feel my absolute best. So get up early, get up on time and it's gonna be something that's gonna help you out. I have never seen a more radical change in someone than Kyle when he got up early. When I used to meet up with him, he used to be out to lunch. I used to always make a joke. I'd say, man, you were ripped or you're drunk or something in the mornings because he'd just be like, loopy or something and it's because i think you were sleeping in at that time yeah or- and i was sleeping in like it was just it was one of those things i'd hit the snooze button i didn't have my room ready to go and my space wasn't optimized like even when it comes down to it studies show that people who wake up early are actually more optimistic and energetic throughout the day like it's crazy how setting the alarm a little bit earlier giving yourself that buffer beating the sun up these things like some people think man I, I can't do it I'm not gonna have enough energy but that alone has changed my life like if I were to end this episode here this thing boom it helped me so much it helps me just make every decision better throughout the day that's why I'm so passionate about it but yeah that's uh, that's gonna be number one discombobulated is the word I would use when referencing that time and I can't blame Kyle and I think a lot of people relate to this as well when you're waking up late you're hitting snooze a bunch you have less time than you you need to get ready, you don't eat breakfast, you're irritable, you're jumpy, you realize you forgot something, you're disappointed with yourself, just puts you in this really tough state. Getting up on time, getting up with intention, you're already honoring the first promise you made from the day before, you're getting out, you're getting after it, and why I love my morning time more than anything else is I can control my routine. I get bulk of my productive work done in the first two hours of being up. You wanna know how much I get done in the morning? I'll tell you. So I wake up and I get a huge glass of water, I'm up on time, I have that water, I go out for a nice walk. During that walk, I listen to an audiobook. I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm getting sunlight exposure, I'm getting fresh air. I come back inside, I journal, I do a little bit of reading, then I'll dive into some important work. I like to eat the frog, which is doing a hard task, getting ahead of it. I'll wait about an hour, I'll have a nice cup of coffee uninterrupted, I'll read an 
exciting article or something that intrigues me. From there, I'll have a really healthy breakfast and then I'll aim to meditate. I know that sounds ridiculous and like it's a gazillion things, but I've been doing this for years. I'm able to budget that in really effectively in two hours and that's my power morning. I feel amazing. It's before the whole world needs me, before my friend's calling me up to go pick him up because he's doing something, whatever it is, that is my time, my ability to control it. And especially if you have a chaotic life, if you have a busy job, if you have kids, this can be your chance in your window to get to the gym, to get that frog out of the way, to do that hard thing. So this is a huge hack. I'm really happy Kyle put this as number one. Now we're going to number two, which I mentioned is morning movement. Getting some kind of movement in in the morning is just very powerful. And the number one thing I would recommend is a walk or a workout. If you're someone and that's the best time for you to work out first thing in the morning, I know tons and tons of people who are like this, do it, get it done. I find the later you put it in the day, the harder it is for you to go. I believe willpower is like a meter or like a glass of water. It starts to drain out throughout the day. Someone needs something from you. Someone's bugging you. Someone cuts you off on the road. It all takes away from your joy to get something happening or people will call you up, offer you something exciting. Hey, let's go to dinner. Let's go to this. And when one push comes to shove, if it's like, hey, you want to go to this really cool dinner, or this fun event or the gym, you're probably going to choose the dinner or the event. But to get things done out of the way when you're fresh in the morning to have your time is just so powerful. And as I mentioned with the walk, the reason I love this is I get a bit of activity, clears on my head, helps me wake up, get some light movement in, which is fantastic for my back and my body, helps me heal. And the sun exposure is just fantastic for helping you wake up and maximizing just your alertness throughout the day. I love it. And you know, I'm just going to jump right into number three, which is just simply meal planning slash meal prepping. And a lot of people might think of this like, oh, well, there's only one benefit helping me lose body fat, helping me eat healthy. But there are so many things. And that's what's cool about a keystone habit is just you do one, you know, you have the food prepared, boom, you want to make better decisions. You want to, you end up saving money. You end up eating the food that's there. And that's just going to help you have way more nutrients throughout the day. You're going to end up saving time. A lot of times, like the amount of food decisions that take place throughout the day, it's endless. It's somewhere over 200. Whereas if you spend Sunday doing some sort of meal prep, let's say 30 to 60 minutes, when it comes down to just opening that fridge, you see the chicken breast is right there. It's something that's going to pay you back over and over again and cause like a ripple effect throughout the day. And that's, what's so cool about it. So spend that time, plan those meals, do that prep work. And it's going to be something that's going to ripple effect positively into your life in so many different ways. And even if you're not a five star cook, this can be a phenomenal opportunity to have your staples when you eat out. I have a few I really like. I find Mexican burrito bowls are some of my tops. Uh, subs are another fantastic option. Chick-fil-A, things that are high in protein or they contain a ton of vegetables or a big dense salad. These are all great options you can take advantage of or you can get that meal prep service and just having some plan, having some structure, having your staple snacks. The things I've been enjoying quite a lot lately are bananas, carrots, uh, I call them exploding tomatoes, but uh, they're called cherry tomatoes. Uh, also, I really, we've been loving tangerines and I've been loving the Quest hack protein options. So Quest peanut butter cups are delicious to me, about 180 calories for two of them and they're just fantastic. I really like the taste myself. Quest chips are delicious. And I found around that 3 p.m. when you want something a little bit salty, something very filling, it's another fantastic option. And it makes it that much easier for me to get my protein in, to hit my calories because I have those good hacks that I do indeed look for. To. Now for number four, this is one that is near and dear to me as I'm doing my reading challenge. I'm aiming to do 52 books in a year. And time and time again, even a quote from a book I love is that book make for great friends because you're going to get a ton of wisdom. You're learning from the greatest minds ever. I've, that stood the test of generations. And if a book has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, there's a high chance you have something to learn in there and a lot to gain. We're really blessed with how much information we have at our fingertips. And I know it can be way more tempting to look at articles or TikToks or different little sound bites of things, but learning from the best minds, learning things that intrigue you, things that are a little bit of a challenge to work through, but that are gonna make you smarter or challenge your viewpoint, your perspective, your idea, listening to other people that push through insane obstacles. I'm training legs today and I'm starting to feel a little sorry for myself. I'm like, I'm pretty tired. Those squats were hard. I don't want to have to be doing this hack squat machine. Ugh. And then I'm listening to a guy, listen to an audiobook today. I don't often do that, but I was, and he was mentioning how at that exact moment when I was doing my legs, 
he was saying how mentally he was having to battle through going through his ultra marathon, which is a hundred miles. And I'm like, okay, I got no excuse here. I'm in this nice AC can like beautiful gym. I got my water. I can take rest. Let's crush his leg. So that's where you can get a lot out of reading and reading is that effect that will compound when you read good books and you do it consistently. I can contribute a lot of where I am today from reading. That's what kind of kickstarted a lot of this. I had the YouTube channel. I started reading and I loved helping people and I was personal training a ton of people, training my friends, and I thought, let's do this on a grander scale, which started Colossus Fitness, our online coaching business, where we now have over 3,000 transformations. And it's just been absolutely phenomenal being able to help people and to really pursue my passion, which is helping people become fit, healthy, and happy, because the number one thing I believe is everyone deserves fitness. I know everyone has different obstacles. I know it's easier for some, harder for others, but everyone deserves it and you can do it too. So if you wanna learn more about online coaching, click the first link in this description to apply for it. If you're someone who wants to do better, who wants to develop, who wants to grow, be the best version of their self. This is definitely for you. This link kind of works through what we do, how we do it. And even if you just want to learn more, go ahead, click that, check out. And once again, if you're someone who wants to do well, apply, I promise you will be in a great fit. And before you know it, we'll be looking back in 90 days at the incredible shape you're in. So I can't wait to get started. And I think that goes perfectly into number five. Yeah. And number five is just simply having that coach. And what's so cool is there are so many incredible things that will be impacted within your life from having this. You save time, you save energy, and you end up saving money long term. We all know those people who spend hundreds on supplements, hundreds on nonsense, who spend years just not feeling confident, not feeling their best, and every decision and everything that happens in your life because you're not feeling your best just is, is, isn't is going to be the greatest. And we all know that feeling and we've been there and I've been there and that's why I can relate. And a lot of our clients who have succeeded. So long story short, having that guidance, like having that support, even if you're someone who wanders around the gym aimlessly, imagine knowing that you show up for your workout, you have it fully set out for you. You know exactly what you're doing. You send one form video, two form videos, whatever it is to your coach. Cool. That confidence you're going to gain to make a better eating decision afterwards is going to be a ripple effect. It's going to constantly compound when you know your nutrition and the workouts that you're doing are on point and the calories and you're doing everything well, how's that going to impact your life? It's one of those things that you have one coach, you have the guidance, you have the support, you know exactly what you're doing. You save time, money, energy. It's going to be something that every single day you're going to be walking around your chest up. Like, yeah, I've got a coach, but it's more than just about having a coach. It's knowing that you're doing the right stuff. It's feeling that five, 10, 15 pounds lost, the inches coming off. It's just, it has a ripple effect. So hire your coach, hire us, let us take the guesswork out of the process. It's going to be something that's going to help you. That's going to pay off literally for the rest of your life. And once again, an amazing keystone habit to positively impact you. People always ask me, what's one regret you have in your journey? What's one thing you wish you did different? And I truly believe all the mistakes I made, all my failures have made me to where I am today. But if there's one thing I could always go back and wish I did is hired someone myself right out the gate. I made a few mistakes. I did a lot of things right, but I wasted a lot of precious time. And when you start, when you're new to this, when you're motivated, when you're excited, you have enthusiasm you can capitalize on. You have beginner gains. And that's why with confidence, even if you look at Instagram, you can see the transition I made in 30 days, just tightening up a few things. Imagine what I can do for you in three months. And I can say with confidence, I can get most people the results in three months with me that they could do in three years with a pretty good effort, but doing it incorrectly. When we optimize every component of the journey, it helps you become your best self, go from just being good to being great, to seeing your full potential, to doing more, to having someone there to hold you accountable, uh, expand your horizon, be there when things are tough and help you find your way out of holes and see around corners. So we love to help out with that. Once again, Again, no obligation. You want to learn more, click that link, scroll through, see more of what we do. And I really look forward to helping you out in the future. Now into number six is another one I'm really big on. And that is just meditation and gratitude slash mindfulness, taking some time to work on your mind. At the end of the day, the mind connects everything, working on being present, working on being aware, working on even just meditation. Meditation is hard. You're sitting there, you want to do other things. You feel like you're wasting time. You're just breathing. Thoughts are popping up in your mind you're getting hungry and you have to battle that and say, no, I need to be in this moment. I need to breathe. I need to meditate. And I find I get the most benefit from meditation myself when I do it consistently. When you've been meditating over 30 days, you'll notice it in the in and outs of your day. There'll be someone there who's really pushing you. Someone the other day, we were playing volleyball this is a perfect example. And I think this is where meditation goes a long way. Sometimes a ball will roll by you and it's nice of you to get it and give it to the other person. Sometimes it's way out of your way and it wouldn't make sense for you to get it. It rolled past me, the guy yelled at me, whatever, to get it. 
it was like kind of far and then he kept running so i'm like okay whatever he'll grab it and then he kept running and go oh don't worry buddy don't i don't want you to get too tired there i can see you're super out of breath and i'll just and he was just chirping basically and normally i'd say something back to him and say like you can get your own ball buddy or whatever but from meditating and just being present and enjoying my moment enjoying that time on my beach i just didn't say a word and i i let him have that moment and at the end of the day i'm sure that's his own insecurity or it doesn't feel great and you know, you always want to be there to help other people, not break them down. And just in those little moments of life where someone cuts you off, even just being able to take a deep breath, be present, that's where the benefits of meditation come. When you're bored in an elevator, it's awkward. You want to take out your phone. You're talking to someone to hold a conversation a little bit longer. I really love the exercise of that, just as I love gratitude, because being grateful, taking time to reflect on the amazing things you have in life really makes life that much more enjoyable, helps you maximize it, helps you be in a great state of mind. And there are just endless benefits here. So if you don't have any gratitude or meditation practice in your routine, definitely implement one and be, you're welcome to start small. Even each day, if you find one thing you're thankful for of that day, that'll make that day feel like a great day. That'll leave you with a smile on your face. Same with meditation. Even if you take one mindful breath, maybe I'll challenge you now, take a deep breath in and a big breath out. You've already started something. That's all it takes. So definitely go ahead, get on that meditation and gratitude game. And number seven is going to be having some sort of journal practice. And this is something, I'll be completely honest, I was neglecting for a while. I would try to do everything. I've been spending some time meditating and doing all these great things, which has been helping, but I was missing out on that personal self-awareness um, you know, aspect. You know, And just the benefits are endless with journaling. Just when it comes down to it, improve problem-solving skills, even myself writing down my goals every single day, helps me become more clear. And just the, en the benefits are endless. So have some sort of, journal practice. It's going to go such a long way. It's going to constantly compound within your life in so many different ways. It's been helping me out a lot. And it's something I recommend adding into your day, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, three minutes, whatever you have time for, it'll help out a ton. This is your opportunity to reflect, to self-analyze, to put those thoughts, to, if you're feeling anxious about something, to put it down on paper and to work through it. It's just a great opportunity to have a workbook for your mind. And the more you spend time journaling, the better off you'll feel. It's a hard thing to start, but just making a habit of doing it every day will get you better at it. So we definitely recommend working this one in. And we just wanna end this episode by saying, these are habits where if you do them, not just for one day, not for a week, not for a month, but when you do it months on months on months on months, years on years on years, you we're going to be blown away with the results. And a lot of where we are today, a lot of the amazing habits and mental resi resiliency we built up are because of these tiny little habits. So don't neglect these small things. Even if there's a small component here, something you can work in your life that's going to build you up, go ahead, implement it, grow, and you will see phenomenal results. So we want to thank you all from the bottoms of our hearts for tuning in, for supporting our show, for wanting to be fitter, healthier, and happier persons. And we hope you have a fantastic week.